What is going on, everybody? I am back. I know it's been a hot minute since I've made a sales update video, guys. It's been it's been busy in my neck of the woods, and uh, should be uh, back to normal now, uh, time wise. So figured I'd wake up bright and early and get a video recorded of some sales, um, noteworthy sales over the last few weeks. Whenever I last came out with a video. Um, so, you know, you've seen enough of these, there's been 50 of them, you know the deal why, why you're watching. This is all about items I've sold, why I picked them up for, what price I picked them up for, why they sold for what they did, why it's something you, yes, you should think about when you're out there in the wild, at garage sales, thrift stores, under a bridge, haggling with a troll, you never know where you're going to source some inventory, so... Just keep an open mind. There's money to be made in new and used clothing, and uh, it's a neat little side source of income for me, and uh, I enjoy it. So let's just jump right into it with, uh, with a leather jacket. I sold one of these four or five months ago, I think. I don't know. It was in an earlier video. Um, these Gmos leather jacket. I picked up two of these on auction about I don't know, eight to ten months ago. And I got them for like $13 shipped a piece. And I sold the other one for, I think, 100 as well. And this one sold for 100 plus 10.99 shipping. Here's just a look at it. It's just kind of like a interesting leather coat there. Uh, just look at the pictures. Like a nice rich brown. There's the lining. There's the tag Gmos. Um, I got them for a steal because I think they... The person that listed these on eBay spelled GMOS, G-Y-M-O-S, and I just happened to come across and look them up, and they go for good money. It's an Italian leather um, jacket, and it's not the quickest seller, but both of these have gone international. I think I sold one to the UK, maybe, and this one went to Australia, a global shipping program, so that's pretty neat. Great return. I do like sourcing inventory online if I can find it in auctions on eBay or you know, underpriced things, they ship it to you, you don't even need pants, you can make some money, it's a great, uh, it's a great little thing, but that sold for 100 uh, it went in a regional aid box to Erlanger, Kentucky, global shipping program, and it's on its way, it's probably got to the Australia by now, maybe not, but not my problem anymore. This was a no-brainer pickup for six bucks at the thrift store, this is a, uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, kind of like a rugby shirt there. Here's a, here's a look at it. Has the uh, crest there. The I guess that's a lion. 1932. What does that say there? There's a look at the shirt there. Polo, Athletics Division, League Champion. Da, 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 da. Sure, 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 sure. There's, a, there's the crest there. Straight from Macy's. Whatever. Custom Fit XL, Polo Ralph Lauren. So... There was no flaws with it. It wasn't returned. If it was returned, I don't know if this was returned or if this was just bought and donated, but either way, it was flawless. Um, and it did sell for my... Uh, what did it sell for? It sold for twenty nine seventy five on sale plus $6 shipping. So right around 30 bucks. shipped. So paid 6 bucks. It went in the uh, flat rate envelope for $5.75 and uh, hope the buyer enjoys. This took a while, but it was kind of unique, so I priced it high. This is a Bush Pilot um, shirt here, Bush Pilot, size XL. Um, I've never picked up anything by this brand, but the subject matter alone persuaded me to do it. Jolton Josie, the Pacific Pioneer, just very cool um, military feel, nostalgia, you know, retro looking pattern there. You got Rosie the Riveter, flexing with the with a gun there, she's got a, what is that, a bomb, a bomb coming out of her behind, I don't know what's going on, but uh, there's some camels, drop, dropping bombs, it's just a cool, uh, cool subject matter, and it definitely takes the right buyer to find it, there was a little stain on the front, I was being honest when I pointed it out there, um, yeah, it, it took about a year, I would say, but I finally got an offer out of the blue for 45 bucks, and took it for 50 ships, no brainer. Or maybe I got, no, I got an offer for $35. So I got 40 shipped for it. Very cool. I was only in it for, you know, five, six bucks at the most, which is my average 
um, price to pick up four to six and uh, yeah just a unique item and uh, if the buyers into the subject matter there's not gonna be much selection out there so he's gonna come to your listing and if you have this it's gonna sell so I picked it up I do really well with vented fishing shirts um, especially ones that are new with tags even if they're not name brand they sell quick this is a rail riders I think I've sold one or two of these in the past um, UPF 30 this was new with tag size medium it's like a nylon blend like a lightweight kind of like a Columbia PFG shirt kind of if you pick those up these sell really really well especially during the spring and summer into the fall fishing season um, just great to wear on your boat if you got a boat um, if you're fishing this is your this is your shirt and they they sell great and I got $30 my full asking price plus 450 shipping I think this guy was messaging me on a Saturday and he's like I need to get it by Wednesday um, for some event and good customer service I told him yeah if you buy it pretty quick Saturday I'll get it into the mail Saturday you should have it by you know Monday Tuesday and sure enough he paid right away said thanks and they got to got to him early before his event so he was thankful left good feedback and uh, you know what if uh, you can get something out early for your customer that they need it take the 15 minutes drive to the post office if you have to if they're really desperate and wanting it so you'll uh, you'll make a good customer you'll get the sale and if it's worth your time and money you know good customer service is always a good move I sold one of these recently I think in my last video um, this is a Pataloha by uh, by Patagonia these Hawaiian shirts do really really well um, and the last one I think I sold was like a burnt red or orange um, I think I got 40 for that one this one I got my full asking price of 45 plus 450 shit so just under 50 ship for it just a basic uh, organic cotton it's not even like a, a silk or a linen just a cotton Hawaiian style shirt but it's all about the brand with these guys, Pat Aloha, Patagonia, it's expensive stuff, it's high end in this type of uh, clothing style and Hawaiian shirt. So people are going to pay up for it. They're not going to spend 120 at Patagonia store. They're going to say, yeah, I only need it for vacation for a week. I got to look the part. I'll put down a, I'll put down 50 bucks on a used shirt that I'll wear once, you know, but these sell really well, guys. Patagonia, almost anything sells well, so just keep that in mind and uh, look for this little volcano spitting out ketchup. It's good money. Diesel jeans, they sell pretty good. This is a unique pair of jeans. They're green. How tragically ugly is that with the button fly? Here's a look at the tag size 31. They were size 31, 32. There's the thing there. It's got the uh, Indian head there. Da -da 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 thing, thing. People, people know you're wearing diesel, all right. When you got that little tag on the back, 100% um, cotton. Da, 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 da. Yeah, just a unique pair of green jeans. I got an offer of 35 bucks. Took it, fit, uh, fit in a flat rate envelope, 575. Off it went. I pick up diesel jeans pretty uh, almost every time I see them. Um, the women ones do a little worse than the men's, but you know, if you're in them for three to five dollars, you can sell them for you know minimum 30 you're still banking 15 20 bucks a pair um, if that's worth your time then uh, if that profit margin's good enough for you it's definitely worth it Johnston Murphy a brand I typically avoid doesn't sell too great for me and if it does it's you know south of 20 bucks which I'm not trying to sell anything less than you know, 25 30 bucks just because uh, so little time to do this. I want to maximize my time. But uh, this was a new tags item here. Johnson and Murphy new tags. It uh, was like a kind of a corduroy shirt, and it was so so tragically ugly. How tragic is this? It's got the paisley. It's kind of like a purpley blue. I don't know when it would be socially acceptable to walk outside with this shirt, but thankfully someone out there didn't want it. Um, this sold for my full asking price of 30 bucks. I'm in it for six dollars, I think, five, six bucks. You know. And it sold, it was an XL, so it was worth picking up for me. But um, if it was used, I probably would have avoided it because I probably would have had a slap of $15 asking price on it. And I'm just, 
Unless I get it for like a dollar, I'm probably not going to want to do that. This was neat. Speaking of ugly, I got this for like a dollar. Um, this is a Laurel Birch New It Tags Cat Feline Bag Travel Bag, whatever you want. Again, you shouldn't be able to leave the house with this, but uh, I guess as of right now you can. But uh, if you're into cats and whatever is going on here, this is your bag here. I uh, sold this for my full action price, 35 bucks plus 10.99 shipping. Cost about nine bucks to ship and a big old box. It was pretty lightweight, so shipping wasn't too bad. But definitely a cool, unique item. I like selling stuff that's a little different. You know, the Ralph Lauren shirts are fun, profit. You know, but I like something that's a little different, you know? A little change up. Can't have a video without L.L. Bean, right? This was a cool sale here. This is an L.L. Bean Chemoy Kala Camo Camoufla Flannel Hunting Camo Shirt. These sell really well, um, but this being camouflage, it was pretty unique. I don't see too many of these. I live in Maine, so Thorough Rock, you're going to hit some L.L. Bean. So I saw this, and I'm, I thought it was pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty desirable. I listed it for 40 bucks, and it got my full asking price of 40 bucks. Size 16 and a half, uh, vintage, made in the USA, made in Maine. So just a great, great, uh, unique L.L. Bean item flannel shirt that uh, I knew was going to sell. Sold for my full asking price of 40 plus shipping. Off it went. This is a Titleist Windbreaker jacket here, Titleist by Corbin. These sell pretty good. Um, Titleist, great brand, great golf brand. Definitely worth some money, um, brand alone. And these sell for about, you know, 25 to 35 um, if you check the sold. So, price of 30 bucks. Took about a month to sell, and I did get my full asking price at $30. Plus $4.50 shipping. <laughs> Last item, guys. Speaking of Ralph Lauren, this is a Ralph Lauren. Just your standard classic fit, uh, classic fit dress shirt, red pony there, blue white stripe. Unless I get these pretty cheap, I'm very picky. The stores around me like to price these between eight and thirteen dollars. They get a little crazy with these sometimes. I did pick this one up for five, um, and the reason that I really picked it up was the size. It was a size 19 tall. I think that translates to like a 3XL tall. So that's it's a big boy shirt and. There's a bajillion and a half of these Ralph Lauren shirts on eBay, but uh, there's a lot fewer size 19 tall. So you kind of got the uh, got the uh, buyer with limited options if they want this size and this style. So I priced it at about thir I, what I pay? 30 bucks, and that's what it sold for this morning. Very cool. Going to pack that bad boy up, and someone's getting a nice Ralph Lauren shirt. Is that it? That's it. That's my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, bless you. Thanks for sticking around, watching, learning. And I hope you enjoyed. Hope it was worth your time. And hope you get some sales today. Have a great uh, rest of your day, guys.